Hey guys, I'm John P. And I'm Callie Lewis. We're not the only ones who just moved into a big building. Tilt is blowing it up. excited for tilt yeah i am too you guys know uh we've got a lot of tilt gear around here we callie and i carry, carry that like a normal i do this yeah. is how i carry uh, my little i this is my ios charger for the car it's cigarette lighter charger nice. it also has a pass-through uh, i know so you, can, you can plug in another a whole nother cable so you can plug them both in well you and guys course, know that we use uh, a lot of tilt products around the office and and our in our personal lives just because they're really good products like these backpacks. That's right. And well, the, I think all of us in the office have a tilt backpack. The wireless desk chargers. Love that these thing. are awesome as well. I love the way they hold the phone right at the right angle. They're not just like a little flat charger. Right. And you know what I love most about tilt products? What? Well, it, they work. But yeah. um, the color, the color scheme is amazing. Everything about Living them is awesome. Living lobster red, look. That's true. You've got Livy uh -huh. sticking out of your backpack there. I don't and know what she's doing there. We have a special guest today. We do. So uh, welcome to Cannon. How are you doing, sir? Very, very good. Thanks for having me. Coming all the way from Tilt HQ, right? Yeah, our new headquarters in Simi Valley, California. So nice. this is really exciting because we know exactly what you just went through <laughs> since we just kind of went, in, you know, went into our new building. But uh, I have to say from what I've heard and seen, uh, our our new facility is nothing compared to yours. You, <laughs> you you've got sixty thousand square feet of space there. What? Yeah, we do. We we were really sitting on top of each other in our old facility, and so we uh, we ended up really being prepared for future growth. Wow! And, and therefore, we went bigger and, and stronger. We were about twenty thousand square feet in our last facility. That's wow. that's and, still big. And, and is think, that just office space? Is it showroom space? What is it? Uh, yeah, actually, we have a much smaller warehouse. We used to have about a 100,000 square foot warehouse attached. We've moved that to a separate facility, and we have a small, maybe 15,000 square foot warehouse attached to the back of the building. So um, just so people understand the, the relative sizing here, I mean, right. your average Walmart is about like 100,000 square feet, like an entire Walmart. So <laughs> your your office space is now like half the size of a Walmart or something. You always got to compare it to Walmart, don't you, John? I love me some Walmart. Hey, do they sell do you, do they sell Tilt products over at Walmart yet? No, they're they're not they're they're, they're not one of our priorities at this point. Tilt is a little bit higher end. Yeah. We go for that higher end market. Things like wireless charging aren't, you know, ubiquitous to consumers right now, so it'll be a while. That's true. That is true. You know, the internet is really an amazing thing. I mean, you guys know what we've done online in the last several years, but you guys till when did you launch? <laughs> Funny enough, we launched our website about uh, three hours before CES 2000. 11 started wow. and you guys <laughs> and, have blown um, up and, since and then. We, we went with a really simple format and our graphic designer designed the, the, the website everybody's going to hate this in about 48 hours <laughs> and we've stuck to it we had three products our first website now it's getting to the point where actually we're going to go through a website revision yeah so that because we, we have so many products now but people tend to say they like it because you can land on our page and see everything we do right yeah. right away well, I remember, I remember that CES. I remember encountering you guys for the first time at um, a showstopper. Uh, show, showstoppers, yeah, I think it was it? Showstoppers. Yes. Yeah, it was. Yes. Yeah, and uh, which at is the a time, press event for anybody. Who yeah, yeah. For, for those yeah. of you who don't, it's a, it's kind of a, a related thing that's happening, you know, right at CES. But anyway. At the time, I remember you, you had the beta version of these backpacks that we have, and I freaked out when I saw it. I was like, this is so awesome. And for anybody who I don't know who, who would be watching this that hasn't heard us talk about it, but these backpacks have integrated batteries in them and they have a channel management system that's so that where you can it, that's where it screams is the channel management yeah. system because you can get the cable from the battery throughout the entire bag whatever pocket you want it in so you don't have to have strings hanging out well and i'll give you an example um so in mine in the top th what this is, is that this is actually for uh your 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 glasses and things to go in here but i have 
a little charger for my Samsung watch that I don't currently have. But this is kind of permanently attached to this cable that runs through and plugs into the battery. Better, yeah. So that when my watch is running low, I just that's stick right. it here and shove it in here and yeah. zip it up. And so that's what we like. But anyway, I guess the point of this story was I first ran into you yeah. back then and we were so excited and we waited and waited for these backpacks to come out and we loved them. And, so, and since then, as you said, you guys just keep releasing more and more just stuff. Constant. Batteries, charging cables, chargers. You just had a successful Kickstarter campaign. I know because I was a backer. Tell me about how that went. So we, yeah, we, we like to use Kickstarter to gather information from consumers and to let people know, uh, you know, and help us go. You know, we're still a startup, even though we have a large facility here. Um, you know, which is more of a, 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 a real estate investment than it is a, a company investment. Um, and, and, and so we're still a startup and so we're bootstrapping and, and, and Kickstarter allows us to, you know, pre-sell products. So we actually sold 2000 units, which is to a small company like us is, is, is a nice, it's a nice oh, yeah. initial uh, order and gets us um, going. And that's the um, energy wall charger. Um, oops, let me move it over here. And, and that, is, <laughs> that is a 2000 milliamp um, battery charger that you can charge your phone with, but it's your everyday charger. It charges um, in the wall, so you don't have to connect any cables to it or anything. It's a real simple uh, wall charger that retails for $39.99. And, uh, and are you and, shipping? And, and, yeah, this is what's amazing is that they just ran the Kickstarter. They promised a particular ship date. And you've exceeded they it. Actually, they actually did it. Like, nobody nice. does that, right? That was so awesome. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, I mean, we, we, we really value Kickstarter, and, and we've been successful in each of our campaigns. Um, the View was one of them, the WeView Wireless Charger. We had a little bit of delays because we had some chip problems. Yeah. But, you know, we are all about delivering on time. We want those to build that loyal following, and, you know, we're really excited about the next couple of Kickstarter products that we're going to put out there. Ooh. Um, a couple you know, new ones? Can, you don't have any, can, can we hear? You don't have any little previews for us, do yeah, you? Yeah, we're going to get a little preview. So we've just got in our hands, you know, a couple of the early early um, models and, uh, and T1 toolings um, for our, 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 uh, our wireless charger. Oh, my <gasps> God. Wait, that looks no. like a car that's a charger. Car, that's a car yeah. charger? That's a car charger. Nice. That, uh, that oh. will hold any size phone. That will hold any size phone. So that's the key. So it will hold the Note Three. Yeah. We, believe it'll, we we know we know for sure it'll hold the Note Four as well. Nice. Um, it's got great mechanical arms that hold it in place. Um, you can adjust the bottom foot to align your your coils. But the key is it's a three coil system, so it'll work with any phone. There's no alignment issues. Yeah. Uh, it's a three coil piece. It's got a beautiful um, CLA charger. Uh, so you plug it into your cigarette lighter. That, that also has a USB port on nice. it. So you can charge another device if you want to. Um, it's, it's got uh, what they call sticky suction cup on the bottom. Yeah. Um, so it'll stick to a dashboard or any other device. I could stick it right here to the, to the, uh, the table that I'm standing on. And it's very hard to get off. Okay, that when is, is awesome. that coming? So this is going to come out in October. Um, and, is uh, it October yet? <laughs> no. No, it's not October yet. <laughs> is it October yet now? <laughs> not yet. I love to wait a little longer. <laughs> it's just a wonderful piece. I, I, I was, uh, I was, I've been using it as a beta versions and all the early versions in my car as I'm a, 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 a lifelong, since I got into the wireless industry, a wireless charging user, and I absolutely love it. Pa pair it up with our other view at home and, uh, and this in the car, you, you really, I, I don't plug in anymore. Wow, that's awesome. Cool. One little technical question about that, which I don't know if y'all have all those things finalized yet, but it sounds yeah. like you almost do. Does it, um, I, I know there's some variability among chargers about how, how much power the wireless charger itself might put out. Do you know how, like how fast will that one charge? Is it? So it's a, it's a one app charger. Oh, sweet. Okay. Yep, it's one app. Yeah. We wouldn't do anything under that. That's awesome. That's, that's what you can get to. And we can provide that obviously because we're, it's, it's not micro USB. Um, a lot of listeners and, and, and users out there want us to make things wireless, I mean, micro USB. You can't make something wireless USB and have three coils. 
Oh, yeah. it just doesn't and have enough power. It won't doesn't have enough, enough power, power to charge the three coils, and so it doesn't allow us to do that. Now we could, but it would charge at probably two hundred and fifty milliamps. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That would. We're suck. not interested in doing. That. So, now I think yeah. he said there were a couple. Any, uh, of yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was one. Right. So we listen to our we listen to our, uh, our our consumers out there and our and our tilt followers who who did who screamed and yelled you know make a micro USB so I can take it anywhere and make you know I can put it in my bag and take it on trips and everything um, and we also realized that our, our price points are a little bit high uh, on the three coil systems and so we wanted to make sure that we had a price point uh, an entry level price point um, for the consumer so this is the new tilt solo the tilt view solo we call it and. Um, it's a single coil solution uh, that um, meets the new 1.1 spec. So there's new Qi specs coming out, uh, and everyone's got to meet those. Yeah. And we and we've got a great little thing that that allows us to um, to align the phone. So the biggest issue with, with with these types of devices, of course, single coils, is aligning the phone so that it can yeah. get your coil in place. Now the coils have gotten much better, and so it's a lot easier to hit that um, sweet spot, as they call it. But what we did was we created a a piece that connects to your cable and you align that piece back and forth and you use it as a guide when you put your phone on. So this piece is right here. I'm going to move this just a little bit closer so you can see that piece. Uh, sorry. Oh yeah, there's oh, a little yeah, yeah, pin yeah. sticking up kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, right there. You can see it right below my chin. Yep. Okay. You use that piece to, got, to put your phone on and then you align it perfectly. And then you always set it down perfectly. Oh, wow. okay. You always know, you just move that up and, and down the cable and you know where it is that's patented um, and you move it up and down the cable and, and it gives you just a, just a guide, just a simple yeah. visual guide right. to, to get it aligned. That's great. That's awesome. So That's innovative thinking. It is. I have, you know, there's one thing I would love to see you guys work on, which would be very difficult, I know, because of this whole alignment thing. But what would be amazing would be eventually, let's say in, in like a next generation of the backpack, if you had like a special wireless charging slot of some yeah. sort, you know what I mean? That you could just like, I just know that when I stick my phone in there, it's just charging. That would be yeah. so awesome, even though I know it would be very difficult to, to pull do, off. Yeah. I just throw that out there. I think we can pull it off. I honestly, in my head, we've done it already. We, we've actually done it in our heads. We, we're just concerned about the cost associated, you know, with the product, and that and that wireless charging just isn't available. And you know, and, well, people know about it. The funny part is that Samsung Galaxies, all the way back to the S3, have are wirelessly enabled. I know. So almost half of the population has the ability to wireless charge. But, but they it's just don't, new kind they either, of thing. They don't quite understand it yet. Yeah, or they don't know that they can do it. Right. And or they or don't know how cheap. I mean, they don't exactly. know that they can literally just pop the back off their phone, snap a new back on a bang. Actually, you don't even have to snap a new back on. You, you literally take this piece and snap it into behind your back door. It's called the ViewMate. And it allows you to just put that behind your back door, snap your normal back door on, and start charging. And we make them for the Note 3. We make them for the Galaxy S4, the Wait, Galaxy S5. I didn't know you guys had that. I, I, have, I have a different product that for that purpose on my Note 3. Yes. I want yeah. yours. Yeah, we didn't know that you, it, it just has, it's like a little thing and it has little contact points yeah. Yeah. that touch yeah. and you snap Actually, if you're on YouTube, just click right here or here, probably <laughs> yeah. right here, and uh, we'll link to that video. <laughs> that's called, that's, that's, it's called the ViewMate, and, and we did it because consumers were buying them on Amazon, and they weren't Qi approved, and they weren't working, yeah. so they were coming to us and saying, hey, I got, I bought your view, and my phone's not working, and, and we, we realized it was, the, it was the pad that they inserted, so we started to do Qi approved pads, um, cool. $19.99, so it's much less than a new back door yeah. and you can use your current case. Now, Canon, I just want to take a step back real quick as, as people are still learning and understanding wireless charging. A lot of people yeah. refer to it just purely as wireless charging, um, but you keep referring to Qi, which is QI. Qi. Yeah. So Qi is the standard for wireless charging. So if you want to learn more about that, uh, yeah. Click here and we'll we'll, we'll, we'll put it in the somewhere. show notes down below. <laughs> just uh, we'll give you a, we'll give you a little link to some chi information. Information, there. yeah, just so you can brush up on that. Well, any other last things before we wrap it up with you that that we should chat about? Yeah, real quick, I want to show you. You know, we we're we're very much in the power space and um, portable battery cases are uh, portable batteries are big for us, but also cases. So. 
we, we had our award-winning energy slider for the iPhone 5. Um, now we have one for the um, uh, Galaxy S5. Um, and what that is, is that's a battery case that will um, charge your battery to, um, oh, I keep having to learn it. <laughs> um, Dave's compensating. Uh, and, and what it is, is that when you, when you don't want to use the battery anymore, you simply slide the case out, ditch the battery, and you've got a really quality case around your phone. Oh, um, that do is, you have that on so your phone, John I don't P? have that. I, it's, kind, I, it's kind of like a rocket booster. You know, when you, when you need it, you slide it on. Oh, that's awesome. And, and you snap it in place and you, and you, and you walk around with it. And, and when you don't need it, you simply pop it off. Now, one of the unique things is that the, the, the S5 has a, uh, a waterproof port over yes. its yeah, it connector. Does. So we were able to solve that by putting a little holder right over here that allows you that you, you take the, the port and you no sleep, way. put it ah. right back and snap it in place and keep it nice and firm out of the way. And while you're using it, if you want to, you can have it there. If not, you can you can get, get it out of the way. And then when you slide it in, it's nice, clean, out of the way. And I can tell you there's no other brands on the market with the Galaxy S5 yet. We were able to solve that port issue and hit the market. We've been on the market now for about three weeks. Um, I didn't okay, even know that Cannon, existed. I, I just need you to stop right there because John's head is about to blow. So. But I do have one question. I have one question. So I love that. And that would be fantastic to have all that extra battery life, especially like when Callie and I travel and stuff. We, yeah. we, we literally go all over the world and, and you routinely run out of battery power on devices Absolutely. like this. Which, yeah. But... So I love to use a, an external battery like that, but also I love my wireless charging. Yeah, I gotcha. So the question is... When? Well, and or, you, sin, sin, do you have that little... Could, would it be possible to put that little device inside that the in one case and then when you're so not you using can, the battery, use the case? Yes, you can absolutely put your wireless charging inside here and use it when, when you're not, okay? Okay. Normal that would be awesome. Charger. Absolutely, but when you put the battery on, unfortunately, it's too thick. Too thick. Yeah. Won't pass through that. Totally understand, yeah. but if yeah. if as long as that would allow me to, when I'm not needing all the extra battery right. life, I can just, just wireless, wireless, charge, wireless yeah. charge it, and I can leave the little the little external yeah. battery plugged in, and when and then take it with me whenever I want, right? Yeah, absolutely. And soon and soon we'll build it right into here. I mean, it's not far off, but again, wireless charging is still in its early infancies. You yep. guys are way ahead of the game. And so once it really becomes uh, something that everyone's using, we'll build it right into here. Absolutely. That is fantastic. Very cool. That is very cool. Well, thank you so much. I know you've got a building to run. Yes, and, uh, congrats. Busy, busy working on new products. So, yes, C congrats. Congrats on your new space as well. It's always nice to move into a new home. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> you guys can go to tiltwithay.com to find out more because obviously we still haven't even caught up with all the products that they That's have. Right. <laughs> thank okay, you, guys. Okay, guys. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Uh, thumbs up over there on YouTube. Dot com slash GeekBeatTV, too, if you got them. Bye, guys. Bye. This car is super fun. We had a huge smile on our faces, huge wheels, huge...